We see this every year and there is a lot of data as a matter of fact the report by the Health Effect Institute said in 2021 almost 8 million people in the world died because of air pollution. This is more than the number of people who have died due to COVID-19. We are a lot of con we are very concerned about COVID but we are not that concerned as we should be about air pollution. A lot of data suggest and there is also data from our in own country India in a recently published paper that even just a 10 microgram per meter cube increase in PM 2.5 is, is associated with higher deaths. Mm -hmm. And this occurs because of respiratory and cardiac problem mainly. So people whose lungs are weak because of chronic diseases, air pollution causes more inflammation in the lungs, their respiratory problem worsens, they land up in the ICU on a ventilator at times and this leads to higher mortality. Similarly, people who have heart disease, heart failure, uh, chronic uh, coronary artery disease, it causes inflammation or swelling of the vessels of the heart and this also leads to higher chances of heart attack. There is also data now emerging that it is not only the heart and the lung but pollution can affect almost any part of the body because these fine particles of air pollutants, uh, less than 2.5 microns and other chemicals, when they enter the body from the lungs they can go into various organs so they can lead to diseases which are long term have a long term effect like dementia, neurological problems, uh, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, all of these have been linked to air pollution. Sir, uh, each year we talk about this, but nothing has been done. No, the, the air pollution, the number are rising day by day. Why this is happening and what is the solution for this? So in my mind, there has to be a multi-pronged approach. This is, this is not the first time that the world has seen pollutions like this. We had the London smog in 1952 large number of people died and that led to legislation and very strict action and now we see that in London the air is of very good quality. This happened in Los Angeles, this has happened in Mexico City. So I think first is that we have to be very aggressive in legislation in implementing those to make sure that pollutants are not released and the emitting source has to be identified. Secondly, we need to work on seeing how can we make our environment more green. So in terms of the emitting source, what can we do to really make it less pollu uh, polluting, uh, whether it be crop burning, whether it be vehicles, whether it be dust, construction, all of that needs to be addressed to see what we can do in a manner which is also sustainable and which can be done uh, in uh, so that there is the people who are involved in this are also not affected in a big manner. Secondly, we need to also have individual action. We all need to look at this as our own responsibility and therefore use whatever means we can so that we decrease our carbon footprint. Public transport, electric vehicles, walking if we can rather than going by car if to a nearby place. And I think then finally what we need to do is look at what we can do from those people who are more at risk. The elderly, children, those with comorbidities, what advice we can give to them, how they can protect themselves so that they are not affected and they don't land up in the hospital or with acute problems.